Architecture has been transformed completely over the past several thousand years, yet there's still a hint of the past evident in every design today. The question is, can you still recognize some of the elements inspired by ancient architecture? The movement known as contemporary architecture blends of numerous current styles with less reliance on traditional architectural principles. Concrete, glass, wood, and aluminum screens are just a few of the many building elements used in modern design. The most prominent designs that are still evident today are the ones hailing from Greek and Roman architecture. Both temples and churches alike from centuries ago contain a popular element that is still used today, the altar. It didn't matter what their religion was, society back then will always have an altar dedicated to the gods or deities they praise and worship. In recent years, churches have seen a drastic change in their altars, making them more elaborate and elevating them to highlight their importance. And did you know the roads and highways of today are made possible because of the Romans? Nearly 1.7 million square miles of southern Europe were a part of the Roman Empire during its peak. The bricks used to build these Roman roads, many of which are still in use today, were composed of hardened volcanic lava or granite, together with a combination of dirt, gravel, and other building materials. Moving forward, if you'd rather see an ancient architectural element that is still being used today, then look no further. Just take a look at the columns, vaults, and arches of today's buildings. We have to thank the Greeks for the development of these three architectural orders, Doric, Ionic, and Corinthian, and the Romans for the other two, namely Tuscan and Composite, which we still see in a lot of buildings today. As we mentioned earlier, the classical style's popular elements are the columns, which can be depicted as a sign of regality and order, which makes it popular. Just take a look at the Brooklyn Museum in New York City, a set of six ionic columns that flank the stairways leading from the 31st and 33rd Street entrances to the main waiting area are the most eye-catching aspect of the Brooklyn Museum's facade. Apart from the columns, another important development in Western architecture is the introduction of the Roman arch. Even though they borrowed the idea from the Etruscans, the Roman arches became a mainstay in modern architecture, especially in how they developed it to what is being used today. Throughout history, the arch served both practical and monumental purposes until advancements in building technology made it obsolete for routine construction. This architectural element has served as a fundamental structural foundation for many buildings for thousands of years, which has led to it becoming the archetypal visual reference for so many of us. One fine example of building design with a contemporary take on the arches is the Da Chang Muslim Cultural Center in China. The cambering petal-shaped arches of the structure give it a more refined and exquisite look while the surrounding arches of the building gradually transition into graceful curves from the bottom up. Apart from architectural elements, the building materials used from ages ago are still at play and are widely used even today, like concrete, which we improved and made into reinforced concrete. The creation of Roman cement and concrete allowed for the preservation of many ancient Roman buildings, including the Pantheon, the Colosseum, and the Roman Forum. There was a time when using pure concrete on any building design is deemed brutal, but now many have become much more appreciative of this building material since not only is it cost-effective, but they can also mold it into any shape they like. Moreover, reinforcing it with steel makes it a lot better that allows architects to create visually appealing structures that won't break the budget. And aside from the architectural elements, there are still structures made for certain activities that are still used today. The Romans are fond of forms of entertainment that are better enjoyed in large crowds, which is why they built amphitheaters, which include the famed Colosseum. Like them, we also celebrate a lot of events in the same space. Even the tiered seating in these arenas is still used today in arenas, colosseums, and even in theaters. So you see, 
traces of ancient architecture can be seen everywhere, even in contemporary building designs. If you just know where to look, you can trust that many more building designs will be produced soon and will continue to evolve based on people's needs and the surrounding environment. But one thing we know for sure is that these future designs will still incorporate a couple of ancient architectural elements in their design, whether in form or idea.